guys, I'm Janelle Parrish, and I am so excited for all of you to see my new signature mystery, Family History Mysteries Buried Past. Um, I have a couple of questions that Hallmark Movies and Mysteries sent my way, so I will be answering them right now here with you. Okay, let's get started. Um, the first question is, in Family History Mysteries Buried Past, I play Sophie McLaren, who is an expert at bringing families together. Can I share more about her and why I couldn't wait to play Sophie? Yes. Um, first of all, I've never played a character like her before. Um, to play a genealogist, like that is so cool and so different from Mona <laughs> in Pretty Little Liars or Margot into All the Boys I've Loved Before. She's truly a professional. She's very fierce. Her work means the world to her. Um, she's sort of no nonsense, doesn't take no for an answer. Um, very different from any character I've played. And so that is always very exciting to me as an actress. I'm always looking for roles that are different, that stretch me and challenge me. And Sophie was definitely it. Um, I also just loved this script so much. Um, and that was another reason why I was totally drawn to the character and to the project. So I can't wait for you guys to see it. All right, we're moving on to question number two. Sophie gets recruited to use her genealogy expertise to help her best friend, Jonathan, find a familial match for his bone marrow transplant. Can you tell us more about this new mystery and why the viewers will connect with this story? I think the best part about this film is that it's very deeply tied to the relationships. Um, that sort of is what keeps the stakes so high. So when you meet Jonathan, Sophie's best friend, and you see their relationship together, which is so sweet and so wonderful. I mean, they're really, truly like family. Once he comes to her and says, I need your help, the train takes off and the stakes are so high. And that's where the mystery aspect comes in. But you also care so much about these characters that you want to see, you want to see her find the person she's looking for. So I think everyone's going to really enjoy that. All right, moving on to question number three. Sophie ends up getting some help for the search from Jonathan's birth father, from his twin brother, Jackson, played by the amazing Niall Mater. What is their history and how does working together on this mystery impact their relationship? Whoo, that's the question, huh? What is their history? I would say unrequited. Definitely some fun tension there. Um, Jonathan and Jackson grew up with Sophie, childhood friends, and they haven't seen each other in a while. Jackson comes back to town to help out with the search. And through them working together, sparks start to fly. They start to reconnect. And I think it's going to be pretty steamy, I have to say. I think fans will be really excited. I know there's a lot of Niall Mater fans out there. I see you. I see all of your comments. It makes me so excited because I think you're going to really, really love seeing what we have in store for you. Um, Sophie and Jackson have some really fun scenes that I'm excited for you guys to see. <laughs> all right, question four. Sophie discovers Jackson is a great asset, helping her find his biological father. Can I share my favorite quality about each of our characters? Ooh, yes. Um, I think what's kind of fun is when you first meet Jackson and Sophie kind of reconnects with him, you realize that they sort of have this fun sort of competitive aspect to their friendship. You know, when you're growing up, it's like who can ride their bikes faster? Who can, you know, shoot the basketball into the hoop? first. They definitely have that kind of relationship. So it's kind of fun to watch that familiar childhood competitive friendship turn into a little something else and have that little spark. So at first she sort of teases him that he wants to help her out. And she's like, oh, really? You're going to work for me? Wow. Interesting. And I think as they work together, she really comes to understand how amazing of an asset he is in helping her find who she needs to find. They work really well together. They bounce ideas off of each other. Um, I think with with Jackson, he's so he's so focused on doing whatever it takes to get to the outcome. He's very logical. And I think Sophie is that way too, but Sophie also goes a little bit more with her gut and trusts her instincts. And I think that gives them a really good balance. You have the logic with trusting her instincts and being spontaneous and just going where the wind takes her. And I think that makes them a really great team. All right, question number five. 
There's another case going on at the same time with a little romance too, as Sophie's assistant Esme is searching for the owner of mysterious love letters. What was it like getting to play a sleuth? It was really cool. It was so much fun. Um, you know, some of you know, I'm, I'm relatively new to Hallmark. This is my fourth one. And I've truly, truly loved working for Hallmark. And what's been really great is they've thrown me a bunch of different genres. Like my first two films were Christmas. And then I did like a spring fling one, rom-com. Um, and then this one to do a mystery and be part of the sleuthing family. And um, it's been really cool. I love the drama and I love how kind of edgy this is while still being so feel good at the end of the day. Um, I've really, really, really enjoyed it. And yeah, you're going to get kind of a second mystery romance story with Sophie's assistant Esme, um, the wonderful Kiana Teresa, who is so wonderful and brilliant. Um, and I'm excited for people to see that as well. All right. Number six. This is my first Hallmark mystery movie. Yes, I just said that. Can I share any fun behind the scenes stories while filming? It's so funny. <laughs> we were laughing about this on set, but it's, it's my first Hallmark mystery. Yes. So it's the, you know, more mysterious, edgier Hallmark film I've done. But I had the most fun on this set of any <laughs> of the Hallmarks and films I've done because our cast, we just loved each other and connected and clicked so much. So we're bring, don't worry, we're bringing the drama, we're bringing you the intrigue. Just know that multiple times on sets, <laughs> on set, we would just burst into laughter laughter, like laughing fits, giggle fits, and couldn't stop because we were just having so much fun. <laughs> Truly, I, I really have to bug the editor and see if I can get you guys a blooper reel because Niall is a jokester, you guys. Truly. He can turn it on so fast. And sometimes you're in the middle of a very serious scene and he's so in it and you're so in it. And then all of a sudden, he'll just like prank you and do something ridiculous. And it takes you a minute to be like, what? Oh, my God. Anyway, we had the best time. It was a blast. Um, those are my fun behind the scenes stories. It's just us making each other laugh constantly. Um, I'll see about getting you guys that blooper reel. I think you'll very much enjoy it. <laughs> All right. Uh, question seven. Hallmark fave Nikki Deloche is an executive producer on this movie. Yes. And has shared that it was an absolute dream working with the wonderful team. Aw. What was my experience being a part of this project, working with her and the incredible cast? Well, Nikki, I mean, she's like Hallmark royalty. She's so incredible. She's an incredible actress. And to be a part of this project with her on the other side of things, being a producer, I'm just like, you are such a boss lady. I love that. I mean, she was involved with this project from the very beginning, you know, finding the books, making this happen. I'm just now recently learning about developing and how much work goes into that. And it's not a walk in the park, you guys. It's really hard. It's hard work. It takes years of work. And she did that to, to make this happen, to make this movie come to your screens. So I couldn't be more grateful. I also hadn't met her before this project. So the fact that she trusted me with this is such an honor. Um, and she's just incredible. So this whole experience was wonderful, you guys. I really think you'll love it. And I feel like how much fun we had on set and how much love we have for each other will translate into this film, if that makes sense. I, I think you guys will feel the love. All right, moving on to question eight. There are a lot of heartfelt moments in this movie. Yes. From Sophie supporting Jonathan's treatment to finding out the courage. From Sophie supporting Jonathan's treatment to finding the courage to explore her own family mystery. Yes. Without giving any spoilers, do I have a favorite scene? I can't wait for the viewers to see. Ooh, yeah, you guys. I think another thing that I really love about this film is you have the main mystery of Sophie trying to find this person they're looking for to help her friend with his treatment. Then you have a really fun little storyline with Esme and love and her own little case. And then you have Sophie's personal mystery, which you'll find out. It's sort of the question of who she is and finding out more about her past and it's it's a it's a really big heartfelt moment and i can't wait for you guys to see that um but 
I think my favorite scene. Ooh. Um, it's a scene with Niall. I don't want to give any spoilers. Uh, I think you guys have probably seen some photos. We're sitting on the ground and we're eating Chinese food. And first of all, the Chinese food was very good. And second of all, it's just such a sweet, intimate moment between the two of them. No spoilers, but I think you guys will find it pretty steamy. Um, and it's sort of just like a moment of them being like, wow, what if? Like, what if things had been different? And it's so intriguing and you really get to see their chemistry and their relationship and their history. I'm really excited for you guys to see that. I think you'll like it. All right. Oh, wow. This is the last question, but don't worry. We have a game. We have a game after. This is not the end. So stay tuned. All right. Question nine. As my character, Sophie, gets closer to finding Jackson and Jonathan's father, family secrets start to unravel from their past. Can I give a clue to the viewers on what they should look out for as they sleuth along while watching. Ooh, yes, family secrets start to unravel. We love that, okay? We love the drama, we do. Like, that's why we like watching TV because we're like, ooh, give us the drama. We got so much drama for you guys, just wait. Um, family secrets that start to unravel. I don't wanna give anything away, but I think there are some really fun scenes that sort of, surprise you you know as you're like watching the show and you're like oh I have that character down I know exactly what they're capable of and then a, a scene happens and then you're just like I thought I knew I thought I knew everything about this person and I am I have been shocked we've got some of those for you but I don't want to give too much of it away so you'll just have to tune in <laughs> all right so to wrap up my live chat I have a guess the character game oh boy I'm nervous um, with only a few clues, who could it be? Guess along with me in the comments. All right, ready? I'm going to give you some clues. Clue number one. I trust Sophie with my secrets and her instincts when it comes to solving clues. Mm, that's a good one. I'm always down to share Chinese food or pizza with Sophie. <laughs> Perfect. I would be the person Sophie would watch a Golden Girls marathon with. That's the most important clue. Who am I? Comment, guess, guess with me, comment your answer in the comments. Let's see here. Mm, so hard for me since I played Sophie. I'm just going to go ahead and guess that it's Jonathan, Sophie's best friend. And I'm right. Did you get it right? <laughs> I hope you did. You guys, thank you so much for joining me. I am so excited for you guys to watch this movie. I cannot wait for you to watch the premiere of my new signature mystery, Family History Mysteries Buried Past. So tune in on Sunday, January 8th at 7, 6 central, only on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries. Oh, and tweet along while you're watching using Family History Mysteries. I thank you guys so much for spending this time with me. I love you and I can't wait for you to see it.